Uh, what was last night like? What was the last 16 hours or so like? Oh, um, great feeling. I've yeah. been thinking about this ever since I was young. And it's just a blessing to be here, you know. You know, with three other guys and this, oh, sorry, this, um, you know, this great team, you know, this great organization. I mean, I'm excited to be here. I'm so excited to get to work. Oh, the, last night, obviously, it was a lot made of the fact that you were drafted 10th overall hometown 76ers, and then the trade with Phoenix. What was that moment like? I think you were talking to talking heads like us when it happened. Uh, what was that moment like? Was there a disappointment, a letdown? Was there excitement? I mean, what was what was that moment like? Um, I mean, I was confused when it first happened, but I mean, I was prepared for things like that. You know, somebody on close was Donovan Mitchell, and I mean, he talked to us prior to the draft and told us, you know, things like this happening in the business. And he was one of the persons who also got drafted, and then, or actually got drafted, he got traded. But um, I mean, I'm just excited, you know, just going to some, going to a spot where somebody really wants me, and I mean, they did a lot to get me, and it just shows that they, you know, they trust me, they know what type of player I am, and know how I, how I'm gonna keep improving, how I did improve, and how they can use me. So just because I'm a weird dude on the radio, uh, for like two months, I wanted Jay Wright as the coach here. Igor Kokoshkov is a heck of a coach, but is there any way that the Phoenix Suns could have gotten that guy after a national championship here, and you could be playing for him right now? Uh, nah, I can't see. I, he loves building up too much, man. He he just loves, you know, coaching us, coaching other guys, and that whole pro, that whole program, that school, that whole university. He he just loves it. He, I don't think he will come out here. All right. So Ryan McDonough, right after the draft, said that you are a perfect three and D type player in this day's NBA. What does that mean to you, and what does that mean that you need to focus on, work, work on to have that role in the NBA and live up to that word perfect? Um, just continue working my game. And, and people can leave me as 3 and D, that's fine. But, I mean, I know I'm just keeping improving on every aspect where you know, I'm just an all-around player who can do everything. And I'm excited to take on that challenge to keep getting better every year. Is it kind of where the league's going now? I mean, you hear the talk all the time, the cliches, it's becoming a positionless league. Does it really matter, you know, in terms of positions now in the NBA, or you just need to be a, a, somebody who's a smart basketball player who can knock down jumpers and D up like they, you know, you, the, your, your scouting report says? Is it kind of a positionless league now, in your opinion? I mean, I guess, I think so. I just, as myself, I don't really call myself as a position. I just, I'm a basketball player, and mm -hmm. I mean, I do whatever it takes to go out there, you know, I, Defend, you know, play on both ends, and I think that's what it is the Pacers League. But I feel like everybody out here is just a basketball player, and they take a lot of pride in it. All right, I got two really quick questions because there's a lot of people lining up about to jump me if I don't give them some time. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. Really yep. quickly, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, really quickly. Um, so DeAndre Aiden said Shaq and Kobe 2.0. Would it be crazy to say you and Devin Booker could be Steph Curry and Clay Thompson 2.0? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. I like that. Uh, I mean, three and D doesn't get much better than Clay. It's <laughs> true, but um, I mean, yeah, I'm just, I, I, I don't know. I just, I just try to be the best shooter I could be. You know, probably gonna learn some things from him because, I mean, you can, you see how he played. You know, he could really shoot the ball. I mean, even when I was, when it was his first year, I kind of saw some things from him. Not kind of like motivation a little bit, just because my assistant coach showed me video when he was at maybe like 20 in a row in a practice, like just in a corner, just just how like he just keeps his shot perfect every single time, like doesn't switch it up. So I, I mean, I took some things from that, and I you kind of say that kind of got me to a better shoot, just no one always keep the same shot, but uh. That's, that's funny. I like that stuff in Clay. <laughs> so you got two national championships under your belt, which most people cannot say they've ever won one. How are you going to bring that style of mindset here to the Phoenix Suns? Just bringing in you know, that winning mentality. And I feel like you're not going to know what it takes and what to sacrifice if you've never been through it. And I mean, I'm grateful I went to Villanova and won two championships. And I mean, it wasn't easy. A lot of people might think it was easy, especially this year, just because how we beat teams by double digits. But... A lot of hard work. We went through a season where, you know, we felt like we weren't even going to make it. We're not, we weren't going to win the biggest tournament or even win the tournament at all. So, like, we, we were on a verge where we had to keep getting better late in the season. So, I mean, we played our best basketball at the end. But um, this is a lot of hard work, a lot of sacrificing, a lot of sacrificing things that usually don't sacrifice. But, I mean, if you, in order to win, you might have to. But I think I was going to bring that in, try to. You know, tell them that, and I think the biggest thing is building a court. I mean, building a relationship off the court. I feel like that's the biggest thing, especially at Nova. I mean, throughout my four years, 
I mean, that's my that's been my best friends. Is everybody on the team is it's crazy, you know. I like there's each person on that team I'm really close with. It's kind of hard to like not be close with somebody. Like, you can be friends. Like a lot of teams, people just have friends or are cool with. But like I was close with everybody. I think that's a big part. So I talked to your sorry. <laughs> yeah, so you know DeAndre better than us, but um, can you just tell us about I mean, what your thoughts on playing with him and how you guys kind of operate and how you fit in with the Suns? Um, I mean, I'm, I'm excited to play with him. You know, he's a beast. You know, a lot. Of, you can't stop him. Uh, and he got the outside game, and he defends like that's that's big time. And I'm excited to play with him. Uh, for our games, just defensively, just you know, guarding up, uh, being a big man down there, you know, blocking stuff. Offensively, just, I mean, more space for him to create, you know, just having the shooters out there. And somebody, you know, if a double team happens with him, somebody who move out the ball, give him an open look. I mean, they, same with me, have the ball, you know, they might have to look at him like, okay, he can shoot too. Maybe we got worried on DeAndre and more space for me and everybody else. Uh, just a minute ago, you got asked about uh, Clay Thompson comparisons. You talked about the shooting, but also he's a really good defender. Is that a defender you think you most resemble, or is there another defender in the league that someone that you look at and go, "That's me"? Um, I feel like not. Like I love Clay's defense, and I feel like people you know, underrate his defense. People just don't see how much defense he plays, and he's. Mm -hmm. I mean, he could really guard. You I mean, you could see, like, the all defensive teams, they be, I, he'd be getting robbed a lot every year. And I don't know why they don't see, like, I mean, he guards Chris Paul. He guards James Harden. He guards all the best players. And, I mean, I feel like just more like how Trevor Reza did. You know, he's a little older now, but back when he was a little bit younger, mm -hmm. he's a little bit wiry and who can guard, who can block shots and stuff like that. So you're coming to a team, obviously, that's struggled to win a little bit over the last couple few years you're coming from a winning program talk about that winning mentality coming to a situation where they want to get back to having that winning mentality yeah uh I'm gonna say just try to tell them you know what you've been through and how you was how you're winning and how close you were with your teammates and stuff like that and try to get them to you know follow the same thing and, yeah. and I'm excited to you know try to meet these guys and get, get it started